So now in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, parallel resistors. I decided to take a red LED. So when we are powering a red LED with like 12 volts, we probably want at least a thousand ohms of resistance to protect the red LED if you're using quarter watt resistors because uh, the quarter watt resistor is gonna get pretty hot in this case. Uh, lower value resistor is gonna get even hotter, um, but it'll get you more current than the lone resistor uh, right there. Um, so we added one in parallel, but I don't want 10 more milliamps of current. That would be what would happen if we had 1K on both sides. We get 10 milliamps that way, 10 milliamps that way for a total of 20 milliamps, which is pretty high for a red LED. That's the absolute maximum. Probably you wanna be like 15 milliamps or even lower um, right there. Um, but uh, that's what I shot for in this video. This is a 2200 ohm resistor though, not a 2000. So we're gonna get slightly uh, less current. There you can see the power supply says 14 milliamps of current. It is a little bit below uh, 15, so that lines up pretty good. Um, but this isn't as accurate as a multimeter either, so be aware of that. But in any case, um, so this is the 2200 ohm resistor. If you look at this LED, I think if I have my finger next to it, you can tell a little bit better. It got slightly dimmer right there. So um, with just that 1K resistor, we're probably just fine right there. We got 10 milliamps current. In fact, I'll pull that uh, off to the side there, put it off to the side, and there you can see about 10 milliamps of current. And now, zooming back over, we will uh, parallel this again, and um, you will see that uh, when I pluck the uh, 1K instead, then um, the LED will, this is pretty pretty warm, I gotta go, go quick with this. Um, there you go, there you can see it definitely got dimmer right there, and uh, yeah, that was pretty warm, but uh, not not terrible. But yeah, there you can definitely see the uh, difference. And uh, we'll zoom over here. There you can see, you know, it's about uh, four milliamps of current, approximately, right there, with a 2,200 ohm resistor. Again, I used a lower value on here to make the math simpler. So now zooming in on the schematic uh, diagram, I'm pretty sure I just did uh, simple uh, calculations with this when I drew it together but here is the formula when you have two resistors you cannot use this if you have three or more parallel resistors only two uh, but in case as I said before if we have a 1k up there and a 1k down there we'll get twice the current each one's gonna pass the same amount of current right there so it's uh, pretty simple you just take one divided by the number of resistors if they are equal value so one divided by two would be uh, one half the resistance, you get twice uh, the current. But again, the current's going through each resistor separately, they're heating up separately. So that's not how you would calculate the wattage, just the current going through the particular resistor. And in this case, we got 10 volts across them because the red LED drops uh, two volts. Um, so I just uh, planned to double the resistance of the second resistor right there. And instead of 10 milliamps, then we would get about five milliamps right there for a total of 15. Again, the actual resistor I'm using is 2,200 ohms. That's its rated value. Um, so it's gonna provide a little bit more current, or a little more resistance, I mean, so a little less current, as we saw before. But yeah, there you take the total uh, resistance um, to calculate what they would be if we were using a 1,000, 2,000, but R1 could be that one there, and then R2 could be that one right there, multiply them together, and then you take that number and divide it by R1 plus R2. And I did the math here, you know, it's pretty simple right there. Two million divided by uh, 3,000 is about 666.66, going forever, ohms of resistance that we have equivalent there. Again, I'm using a 2,200, so we can expect a little bit more than this, but uh, not much. So now we will grab the uh, multimeter. I'm first gonna measure voltage right there. I only have to move the red probe for high current, you know, in the ramp amp range. So we're not going to have to worry about moving the red probe for anything in this video. Now we will measure the supply voltage right there. And you'll see one thing is that um, with the connections and stuff, resist extra resistance along the way, we're not getting the full 12 volts, but it's practically 12 volts. And as I said before, red LED drops about two volts. You can see it's building up two volts across it. When it comes to dropping the voltage, that means the voltage that makes it to the resistors there. So out of 12 volts, we drop two volts. We got about 10 volts approximately across the resistors there. Whether we have one or two, doesn't matter. Um, it's the red LED that drops a specific amount of voltage. Which brings us to current. So 
when it comes to current, we have to put the current through the uh, meter right there. So I'm going to pluck this jumper here and move it down a little bit. We are all done with uh, measuring it. Well, current's just going through the uh, load by itself. Again, I only have to move the red probe for the amp range. We're going to go to milliamp range. I believe this has a limit though of 600 milliamps in the milliamp range. So anything above that for this particular meter you'd want to still go amp range if you think it might be like 0.7 uh, amps but in any case this is uh, much lower right there so there you can see about 14.65 uh, uh, or so uh, milliamps of current approximately it'll change like a little bit uh, depending on how well uh, making connections here and there um, but uh, you know we're getting pretty much uh, what we calculated now I can move the uh, red LED again so that was the current we were getting when there was no gap right there we uh, jumped the gap with the multimeter now we're going to measure resistance and uh, you don't want to measure resistance either when the circuit is already uh, powered we have that gap right there so um, we can don't have to worry about the one on the positive side there you need a complete uh, connection across the load to get a voltage across the meter the meter is providing a voltage across the resistors and then you can see a little bit more than uh, 0.666, which I uh, calculated before. But a big reason is because that's a 2,200 ohm resistor. Now these are, uh, you know, cheap resistors that I got. Uh, the biggest annoyance is their leads. The the metal wires there are a little thinner than they should be. But I somebody mentioned that in their review, and I took that into account when it came to the lower price and large number of values I got. Um, but there you can see. It's a little less than, uh, that's 2.2K right there. So 2.2 thousand, it's a little bit less than that right there. And uh, so they're 1% resistors, but I find some of these might be like 2% off sometimes. Yeah, this is more than 1% um, by a little bit right there. But yeah, 984 because that's 0.984K right there. So between 1% and 2%. Um, you know, it's supposed to be 1%, but again, they were cheap. So I don't expect them to be as good as they claim but they work so there you can see when they were together we had less than the lowest value one that's something to remember whenever you put uh, resistors in parallel you're going to get less resistance than the lowest uh, value every single time and uh, when they're on equal values again um, this is the formula you should use if you want to calculate it instead of uh, measuring it again this was kind of a simple mental uh, thing to do. I had a certain amount of current that uh, I wanted more by about 50%. So I used about twice as much resistance parallel to that. And that's how that worked out. But uh, otherwise, you got to do that whole formula again, which isn't that bad. If you have three or more uh, parallel resistors, unless they're equal value, as long as they're equal value, then it's just one over the total number of uh, resistors. It'll be like one half if these are equal value there, if there's three that are equal value, you'll get three times as much current. It's like a third the resistance and whatnot. But if they're unequal values, this is the simpler formula to use if for two. For three or more, there's a more complex formula. So in any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.